All right, Spence, or Spoons, as your nickname is on uh, Instagram. Uh, two close wins on the road, man. You guys were in a bit of a rut. You got two wins on the road. What did it take to do that? It took a whole team effort. Honestly, when, you, when, you, when you're on a skid, you know, we, we dropped a couple games. It's hard to get back to that winning. Everyone knows that winning's hard. Um, so it just felt so good to pick up two wins, especially on the road. And this is a weird place to win, too. Pepperdine has mm -hmm. given BYU fits. Let's go back to the game on Saturday. You put up a dozen, which was awesome. Let's start with a left-handed layup in the first half. <clears throat> yeah, so right here, um, Pepperdine, usually they have pretty heavy bottoms, um, but I noticed they were stretched up super high here. Um, the average person's going, uh, heavy bottom. What do you mean by that? All right, so the opposite guy, so the guy guarding Seneca, he's usually, his head would be under the rim. Mm. Um, and if I drove baseline, he would be there. Um, but they were stretched up super high on this play, so I thought, I was gonna take it baseline because Alex's guy isn't really helping off of him. So I was either gonna have a layup or I was gonna have a kick to Seneca in the corner. And left hand, right side? Yeah. When we were little, it was like, you have to go up with your right hand, right? No, you, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter, man. Just pull by him. Just score, let's go. Okay, second play. Great help defense here, you get a steal. Mm -hmm. So this is our shell principles. We work on this a, a ton in practice. Um, so we have a bottom, again, would be I guess it would be Caleb in this instance. Seneca would be the smash, so he takes the guy low on the baseline. And then it's my job, I have the first pass, so wherever the ball goes, I, like, I have to be there on the catch with that guy. Um, this guy jumped in the air to make a pass. So I had a little bit of time, rotated out, snatched it. It's beautiful. Then a no hesitation three. Yeah, all my guys have been, I mean, they all been on me like, Spence, you gotta shoot the ball, you gotta shoot the ball when you're open, you gotta take good shots. So I came up, um, I noticed he kind of pointed for a switch, but then he was a little bit behind the defender, right there. So I just stopped, let it fly with confidence, held my follow through, went down. Bang. Then Tijon Lucas finds you in the second half, and this, this is to put you up 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, T does a great job of getting downhill. Um, and Pepperdine, their tag, so the guy that was kind of like helping to the roll was coming from weird angles. Um, usually it should have been the guy guarding Gideon, but this time my guy helped down to him. So T recognized that, just hit me in the corner. Again, wide open, let it fly. Is it better to hit a three in front of your bench or the other bench? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, my guys are pretty good. They're like dapping <laughs> me up and hyping me up a little bit. And then when you go back, you're backpedaling, and there was this kind of strut that you had right here. I love this. Back, Tongues baby. out. <laughs> Did you, were you feeling it at that point? Yeah, feeling good. You've had a few games that weren't, you know, to your standard. Mm -hmm. It felt like in this game, it was like, okay, Spence is back. Yeah. Did you feel like that? Totally. And a big credit to my teammates. I mean, all of them have been like Spence, like, stay with it, keep shooting, keep being confident. We need you, so it felt super good to, to be back out there doing what I do. And then about five minutes left, you get the ball in the post, you get blocked, you stay with it. Yeah. Um, I've been working a lot with Coach Feger on just getting down to my spot, kind of taking my time. So I gave him a little pump fake right here. He didn't, I actually didn't block it. It just slipped when it went up. Mm. So I went up and grabbed it again, took my time, one dribble, gave him the sauce. So you're telling me it was a travel if you didn't block it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Did he touch it? The refs were calling something. They were calling crazy calls all night, so. <laughs> so you get a crazy call they, back. They, I like they, they gave me one, at least. I like that. Alex Barcel was unbelievable. Have uh, you played with a guy that went 9% from three? No, that was crazy. It's crazy because he commands so much attention on the floor from guys, but like, he still finds a way to get his shot. He's so efficient, which is unreal, you know? 10 of 12 from the field. Crazy. Like, he, he scored 33 points on 12 field goals. It's crazy. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, huge game at St. Mary's, obviously. No game Thursday. Mm -hmm. That means you guys can load up kind of emotionally, physically on this one game. Yeah. What will it take to, to win in Moraga? So I've never played with fans in Moraga. I hear it's a tough place to win. We beat them there last year, and they're super physical. They're grind it out, just slow it down type of game. Um, so really we have to get back to our defensive stuff. I think last time we played them here, we beat them, and they went for like, five, six, seven minutes where they didn't even score a bucket. Um, so I think if we can get back to our defensive stuff like that, shut them down, puts us in a really, really good spot to win that game. Yes, it does. And we'll help the tourney resume. Heck yeah. Okay, good luck. Thanks for the time. Appreciate you.